In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use the DJI PC simulator. The simulator comes in very handy when you're doing any sort of development for DJI Inspire 1, the Phantom 3, or the M100. This is the documentation for the simulator. I'll put a link to it in the description below, but let me make sure to mention that this will only run on Windows. Now, I haven't tried this with any sort of virtualization. So if you can get it running in a VM, that's great. In my situation, I have a separate laptop that I do this on. So you can see that there's a link here to go and download the simulator. And it's actually at the very bottom of this page. It's a zip file that will come with an executable and a user manual. And before you install the simulator, make sure that you install this Win driver. You'll need to unzip that install it then you can install the simulator. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to go through those steps. I'm currently on my Mac and I've already installed this on the PC but you should be able to get that figured out and now let's walk through the setup and how to use the simulator. After the simulator is installed you'll just have a little icon called DJI Simulator. We'll launch that. It's a very simple application. You can define a default latitude and longitude. For now, we'll just leave those alone. And we'll plug it into this little USB port on the back of the Inspire 1. Plug the other end into the PC. Now we'll go ahead and power everything up. I'll turn on the transmitter. I've said this on many videos before, but always make sure you have your props off on the bench, especially when you're running the simulators. Now I'll go ahead and power up the Inspire 1. With your aircraft powered up, you'll notice the serial number field will populate. Now watch as I hit start simulation. If you watch the camera gimbal, you can see it move a little bit, which gives us a little bit of feedback that we're in simulation mode. Now I'll go over here and click the display simulator button. And you can see the simulated Inspire 1 if you had a Phantom 3 connected. That would obviously show up here on the screen. So now just a quick test. I'll go ahead and arm with my sticks. And you can see that the Inspire 1 physically LEDs light up and you get all your signals. But as I give it throttle, you can see it take off in the simulator. So it's a pretty cool hybrid environment where you're controlling your Inspire 1 on the screen. But a lot of the physical stuff such as taking photos or changing your gimbal will actually work with the hardware on the bench. Okay, now let's demonstrate how this is going to work with the app. Now this is an app proof of concept that we've been working on called Drone Blocks. So you can see these little blocks here that you drag and drop onto the screen and your Inspire 1 or Phantom 3 will actually carry out these commands in the air. So just for demonstration purposes, I have it taken off to 25 feet, flying forward 50 feet. We're going to pitch the gimbal all the way down, take a photo. And then let's just pitch it back up so we can see it physically change while it's on the bench and that it's going to land. I'm going to flip my switch from P into F or function mode. We need to do that so that the Drone Blocks app can take control of the Inspire 1. And then I'll, what I'll do next is I'll click Start Mission. You can see that it's asking me to confirm. I'll click Yes. And then you can see the Inspire 1 initiate as well as take off on the screen. There is a bit of telemetry data over here just so you can see it. It's flying forward. Now let's watch the gimbal on the bench. You can see that it pitched all the way down. It's going to take a photo. It's going to pitch back up to their level of the horizon. And you can see the Inspire 1 on the screen. It's starting the landing sequence as well as the remote is giving us the landing signal. And as you can see, this allows you to pretty extensively test before you even get into the air. So I always recommend doing that, getting a feel for your program, how it works before you take it to the field. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.